Good morning, good morning, good morning. I thought I'd get on. I just have to go and get my uh, COVID test <sighs> um, over at the BBC. So it's pretty early to go walking. They've closed Hammersmith Bridge, of course. So if you're this side of town, you have to walk um, all the way into town. Um, there's no other way of doing it, really. So that'll take me, oh, I'll be all right. A couple of hours, something like that. Um, I thought I'd get on and just say good morning for a start. And then, oh, God almighty, AD, 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 just stop already. Even the titles of your videos are all wrong. AD, I don't know who writes them. I mean, he obviously writes them. He writes them as if he's sort of saying them, but it doesn't really come across in, in words like that, does it? I t uh, AD told you that David was real. We're, David speaks to Chris Watts. No, no it's in F MSN. Would you believe him? I presume they meant now and they just couldn't be bothered to fix it. And then underneath the description, it says, um, AD doesn't create the news or something, read the news. He makes the news. He make or something like that. It's just a completely wrong word that they just couldn't be bothered to fix. And, uh, and then AD goes on to read an article from a newspaper. I don't see the point. What's the point? He's, he's, he's a, such a scavenger inserting himself into the center of everything and he he says what you've got um you've got the watts and you've got the rusex and i and he does this horrible jihad gesture it's really creepy and annoying where he glues his fingers together it's really annoying and I, i'm right in the middle i'm right in the middle so i'm reporting for both sides on watts island so he's made this thing up that it's sort of like a game show or some kind of um a fictional sort of crime story that he's he's reporting on these are real people there's no sort of what's island this is a real crime a real murder and ad has nothing to do with any of it nothing to do with any of them and is just pretending and he's inserting himself in the middle to try and make it sound like he's part of it he goes what i've got chris watts here i've got chris watts telling me this and i've got the rusex the other side and when he says i've got it's all these little tiny little things right it's salesman talk i've got this and i've got that meaning that he's part of it when he isn't, he's nothing to do with any of them. He's not talking to Chris Watts. As I said, he's talking to Chris Watts about as much as I'm talking to aliens. And that's that's not happening. Um, he's not part of it at all. But he throws himself right in the middle. Right, and he can't even be bothered to pronounce anything. He's, he was saying he was getting to his um, audience the other day to, to read the book by um by Kafka, Kafka called Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, right, I can't be bothered to read the book, so I want you to read the book, I want you to read an entire novel, right, it's one of the most important novels ever written, but I don't know anything about it, I think it's um, what, about a man who turns into a cockroach and kills his wife or something, right, so that's his, um, that's his breakdown of, um, of metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, Alan, not metamorphosis. What on earth do you get your subs to read a book for? What on earth has it got to do with that? It's just getting wilder and wilder and wilder. And then in another video, because he's got so many channels now, so many videos. I mean, the man's not well in the head. Um, and now he come, then he comes on and starts all over from the beginning again. See, I told you oh, David was talking to Chris Watts. I told you David was talking to Chris Watts. Well, no, apparently you're talking to Chris Watts, aren't you, AD? That's what you've been saying since about for about six months now. Aren't you talking to Chris Watts? So are two people talking to Chris Watts to try to get to you now and sending codes to David and Blether to, to tell you to crack the code and then go and get his sub, your subs to go and read Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka and do all this other homework. What it down, what it down. It's just got so ludicrous, but you know what is? It's so offensive because you pretending that you're in the middle of something, talking to so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so, -and -so -and -so, when you have nothing to do with anything, is so offensive to every single person in this community. And even, and I don't agree with this creator in any way, shape or form, in anything he says at all. Um, even Daniel Bishop made a video saying that he disagreed with your choices and I really respect him for saying that um, because you brought a sex offender onto your channel and you haven't addressed it. All you keep saying is, what well, people told me I was lying about David. And it's just skirting around the fact of what you did 
do. And it's your behaviour which is the problem. No one is knocking Alan as a person. We don't know him as a human being. All we know is what we see. It's what he's doing. It's the lies, the constant lies, the ducking and the diving. The fact that he is a, um, a miscreant. He's, he's, a, he's a salesman. He is a cockroach, right? He will survive no matter what because he has all the skills to work every single person in the room and it's all rubbish. But the fact is that he's already worked everything and so he's got nowhere to go now. There's nowhere to go apart from ludicrous stories, which he's starting now again, thinking that his new subs are going to sort of follow him on this one. It's... It's laughable. I would, if my father or any member of my family was doing this, I would be mortified, mortified. Um, but Alan is uh, seemingly not caring. All he cared about was making more money by trying to um, be a victim when all the, um, the, the hate channels, all the hate channels, because he, he labelled those the hate channels, were out to get him. We're apparently trying to kill him. So it's it's the same as Mary Marlowe. Um, slightly unraveling in the uh, in the, in the belfry there, um, and Alan's just unraveling as you speak. As we speak, it's just um, he's bouncing off the wall from one thing to another, one channel to another, one story to another, desperate to keep that monetary monetary Alan, not monetary eyes. Um, aspect up on his channels and then we forget about the real thing this has turned Alan has turned this into some sort of soap opera some drama some sort of magazine story and it's not it's real people here real people and we can't forget that we have to keep reminding ourselves that this is real people four people died in a very gruesome manner it's not what AD is explaining it to be there's not Chris Watts trying to do this, trying to do that, and then he's sending codes here and, and what? And his subs are going, why is Chris doing this? Why is he doing that? That's so weird. Why did he do that? He didn't do any of that. Alan's making it all up. It's Alan that's weird. Weird. The whole lot of them. Weird. Making up paperwork, making up documents, pretending that they were inside the prison, pretending that they're forensic scientists when they're not. They work in a casino. It's weird. And it, it needs to be spoken up of how weird and abnormal that is. This is not normal behaviour, these group of people. But it's become normalised because he does it so often and you get brainwashed. I think people are brainwashed into what he's saying and it becomes acceptable and normal. And it's not. It's very, very abnormal. It's abnormal to pretend to be something you're not in terms of a, a legal or, or job aspect or anything to do with a prisoner, or anything to do with a prisoner. It's not normal. It's weird. It's not healthy. It's very unhealthy. It's sick. All of the things that these people are doing are unhealthy lies. They are unhealthy liars. And it has to keep being spoken up about, I believe, in my opinion, because otherwise it's forgotten. The real truth of it is forgotten, is the real event, the tragic event, and those that it um, affected truly. And also how all of this group of people, Alan, Heather, Dr. B, Dr. J, <clears throat> another insider, David, da, 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 they are not normal. This is um, on the verge of criminal behaviour. These lot have got a rap sheet as long as your arm. If you look at them, <clears throat> look at their real lives, it's all chaos and mess and trouble and dealings with the law and pretense and ducking and diving, all of them. So if you really, really look at these people, you see them for what they are, which is scammers, con artists, and not very artistic at all swindlers, liars, um, parasites, uh, vultures, and just out to get a buck in the worst way possible. They have no moral compass whatsoever. 
and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And so I believe it's worth speaking up about because we have to keep bringing it back to what it actually is at the heart of it, which is a tragic murder and the ripple effect of that for the people that are still left here is huge. What is not huge is all the rubbish that Alan is getting day after day after day after day. Do you not think that if there was breaking news every five minutes, it would be on the news? It, we would be hearing about it, but apparently, according to Alan, literally twice a day there's breaking news in something to, or other. Do you not think that that's slightly suspicious? The fact that there are so many things happening in such a short space of time that happen again and again and again, pretty much towards the end of the month. And they've been happening for three years, two and a half, three years now, two years. I can't get my timeline right. Over and over and over again. But yet nothing is changing in terms of Alan's channel. It's just more and more lies spread thinner and thinner and thinner across across more channels, across more uh, across more people and across more stories and narratives just to blindside you. I mean, it's extraordinary how weird that is to me. I find it so deviant and so uh, sordid and desperate and dirty and toxic, all of it. And, the, um, the, and so I do respect someone coming forwards like, like Daniel and saying, I didn't agree with that, I'm sorry. Regardless of what I think of him, regardless of what our history has been, um, I do respect someone at least coming forwards and saying, no, 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 no. Uh, this is my belief about that Alan did wrong. Someone at least has balls to speak up. Someone considers his own moral compass more important than his, um, um, <clears throat> his pockets. Maybe just for a moment, maybe not, I don't know, because of course I don't agree with anything else that he says. But I have to give a shout out to him doing that. Somebody needs to grow some balls, just like, um, <clears throat> I think it's, her name is Snow Bunny now, did, just like other people did that came forwards and went, oh, I was, I was actually doing that. I was into um, Alan's group, da, da, da. I mean, somebody come forwards and expose and say, what is actually going on there? And for how wrong it is. Anyone with a moral compass, anyone who cares about justice, anyone who cares about this case, and anyone who cares about the Rue sex, and anyone care, who cares about their own family and put the, yourself in their shoes... Come forwards, grow some bloody balls and say what a balls up sort of shit fest this is. But no one does. None of them have got any courage. None of them have got balls. They're all yellow bellies, ducking and diving and hiding, all afraid to speak up. Um, so uh, this is why I speak up. Um, and it's for the people that were um, annihilated, because there's no other way of putting it. That's the heart of this. The victims of this um, tragic event have become obsolete in their own story because of people like Alan. It's vile and it needs to stop. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>